Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Last Mama Podcast. For those of you who are joining us for the first time, the Last Mama Podcast is a podcast for the mothers and caretakers in the trenches of motherhood. Today, we're going to talk about breaks. (laughs) Because sometimes you just need breaks. You're listening to the Last Mama Podcast. I'm your host, Melissa Wirt, busy mom of six and owner of LashMama.com. Join us each week as we talk about pregnancy, breastfeeding, postpartum, and all things motherhood. Hi, friend. Hi. 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 So we have decided after much hemming and hawing, I'm headed on vacation for a couple of weeks next week, um, and we are going to take a month off from the podcast. We are going to regroup a little bit. We are going to take care of ourselves a bit. We are going to figure out how to structure this in a way that you all enjoy it and want it. And we're coming to you guys with good information or connective conversations or um, maybe learning a little bit more about what we should be doing with our time on the podcast. Yeah. Um, But we wanted to come one last time before we take a month off um, and talk a bit about why breaks are good and why self-care is good. What's been going on in the past year? And mm-hmm. said, Latch Mama, where our hearts are. Lindy, how is your heart? Oh, how is my heart? My heart's pretty, pretty content today. Yes. <laughs> how is your heart today? It was a drop day, which is a good day. Um, you know, <laughs> things are things are good. Not not that revenue helps my heart, but revenue does help my heart because revenue helps everything. <laughs> revenue helps life. your heart beat a little bit slower. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's a good thing. Yeah. Um, I don't know. It's been it's been a wild ride. This year has will go down as one of the more interesting, growth worthy years of my life. Um, Eric actually wrote on my birthday card, which was, I don't know, a couple of weeks ago. He wrote something like <laughs> something. The card actually said something like, um, here's to your next trip around the sun or something. And he wrote something like there's no way it could be worse than the last one, which is terrible to say because it absolutely could because nobody got sick. Nobody died. Like it was, it was fine. It was just one of those years where, um, there was some high intensity growth happening and, um, I don't know. It's interesting. It's, yeah. It's a lot of adjectives for that word or that year that could be used. It was, um, I don't know. It's, it's interesting because I think about where we were with the podcast last year and how at this time and how much of my heart, I wanted to give to others and how much I wanted to help other people and pour myself into them and mm-hmm. create this like really magical thing. And so much of that is still there because it's who I am. And there are so many stories in my life that have led me to the place where compassion and love is and making sure people feel seen and accepted are such important things to me. Um, but I think it's really interesting to see what happens when all of that gets attacked and criticized and um, people don't see you and people want to hurt you and hurt your family. And it's been, um, I don't know, one a hell of a freaking learning situation. Yeah. I think it's a pretty incredible place to be. And I think it's quite empowering when you can recognize that and you're always going to do that, mm-hmm. give and take care of. But to be in that place where you realize, okay, it's time to take care of me. Mm -hmm. Um, And I think you do that. You have to have a lot of strength in that decision and um, confidence and, you know, realize just what really is important in that moment. And it's making me think of the year that we did after hours every single Mm -hmm. week and how I, you know, I think there's give and take and there's times and, and, you know, we really truly enjoyed that. And then honestly, we, we truly just needed a break for ourselves and Mm -hmm. we're easing back into it. So like, I can see this project and this like labor of love easing back in and figuring out, okay, what's the What's yeah. the next What's the, the next away? step on this like podcast journey? What does it look like? What do we need to do? What do people want? What do we want? Do yeah. you want it's your podcast? I think so much so, of this past year has really been, you know, there are times I feel like in life and maybe this doesn't happen for other people where I do feel like a little kid. Like I do feel like I'm learning and I think that I've powered through this past year. I think we've kept the lights on here. We've kept moving forward. Um, but I think it's catching up to me. Like, I think I do need to take 
a little bit of a respite in terms of giving myself to others and being vulnerable and talking about connection and showing up and having these moments with you and stories and really kind of just, you know, relax and, and breathe a bit, read a bunch of books that are not educational. Um, Another, and some more James yeah, Patterson. <laughs> absolutely. Some, some more, to, more murder mysteries. Um, but I think it's just, I, th- I think it's an, it's an interesting journey in life. And I think when you are showing up for other people and you are putting yourself out there, people think sometimes that it's, it's for me or it's for my ego or it's because I want to hear myself talk or be like, yeah, we, so we funny never that like to hear ourselves yeah, talk. that it is the complete opposite of that. Mm-hmm. So much of Latch Mama is the complete opposite of me wanting to do things for my ego. Um, you know, it, it truly is hard sometimes to sit behind a mic and say, hey, I mean, just a year ago, almost a year ago to this day, we were talking about how I was losing a baby. If you really think that I wanted to show up that day and turn on a microphone and talk about not being able to get sight attack and crying in the middle of Publix, I mean, it's it's just it's just not who I am. But I do those things so they live on on the Internet and so people can go back and find them on their rainy day um, and they can feel less alone. And I think that that is the secret to solving so much of motherhood and so much of what we struggle with is really, truly creating that connection and ending those lonely moments in motherhood. So that's why mm-hmm. we show up for the podcast and that's why we show up for each other. Yeah. I don't know. So what we're going to do for the next month is we're going to put some polls out. We're going to put some polls out. We're going to send some emails out. We're going to show up in the group. We're going to talk about how to kind of structure this moving forward. Um, we're probably going to look into some technology to get some better connections for guests um, and start kind of going in a direction as well that is still really connective, um, but that incorporates some, some experts and some education for you guys um, as well. So, yeah, love it. Any thoughts, comments, any parting wishes? No, I, I don't know. I've enjoyed sitting here and having our chats, <laughs> even though they feel personal, but then they're not because Kennedy's <laughs> here and it goes out to everybody. Um, but I don't know. It's, it's been really good and I'm excited to see where it's, you know, yeah. where it's going to go. I know, you know definitely miss Karen I miss Karen and her creative energy that she'd yeah. bring and all mm-hmm. that but I'm interested to see what kind of balance um you know we can create between some intimate chats but also getting into some education and learning I mean every time we had a guest like I learned so so much Absolutely. so this is not for just guests it's for us too we we really do enjoy that yeah so it'll be interesting to see where what we can do with it so yeah so we're gonna have some conversations about some of your favorite podcasts and some of the things that they do we're gonna start some more call-ins and stuff too yeah. so we're just gonna go back to the drawing board and use our pod- podcast time for the next month after I get home um to really truly try to refocus this thing into something that um we're super proud of um and that we feel good about so we'll miss you enjoy your break we'll have lots of things to talk about when we come back um and take care bye